Uh, this is my review of the video game SimCity 4. Uh, I played all the SimCities from the original, probably in the 1980s. And uh, SimCity 4 was the one that I really liked the most. This was, in my mind, the best city builder out of everything. Although I really do like Cities in Motion too. And the reason why is because they had a lot of different regions. Uh, you could build to the entirety of your region. And you could really pack it in. You could pack in as many buildings as you wanted to. And you can go into a neighbor. And when you finish building your region, you can go start a new region. And one of the things that I would do is I would make one region that was all industrial and one that was all commercial and one that, that was all residential. And, for example, what would happen is the residential region would have no pollution. So there's an example. It was a really fun game. I really enjoyed playing it. I'm not sure if this is the one that had the really nice highways in it uh, because, unfortunately, it, this game is from 20 years ago and I no longer have it. And I did not buy it from Steam. Uh, back then, you would buy it, you would get it on a floppy disk or a CD-ROM, and, and maybe I sold it or gave it away, and you'd have like a code you'd have to type in. Now you'd copy and paste the codes. There was a version of SimCity that came after it, which I believe is available from Origin, and I do own that version, and although it has good elements to it, it doesn't have a lot of the great things that SimCity 4 has. It's an excellent game. It probably, like I have a laptop, it should run better on a laptop because it's an older game. And with older computers, you should have no problem uh, running this software. You know, SimCity is a very cute game. Like when the firefighters go out, uh, if they're not educated, they won't spray the water at the fire. You know, there's a lot of cute things like that that are in the game. And there is an expansion pack called Rush Hour, which I believe was uh, a transportation system that was added, like a monorail or something like that, uh, which I, I did own that also. I really did enjoy SimCity 4. was very excited when it first came out and was very disappointed when the recent version came out, which was, you know, 6-7. It was around eight years ago. Like I said, I also own it. Uh, because the recent version is very dumbed down. The people are really dumb. Like, they they um, don't live in the same house every day, and they don't go to the same job every day. They just walk down the street, and the first house they come to, they go into that house. And the first job they come to, they go to that job. So you just see a mob of people walking down the street. It was really dumb. But there's other good things about the game. Maybe the next version is going to be really good. The last version that came after this one... A lot of people complained about it, and they had to change the game due to all the complaints. Okay, so I highly recommend this game. Don't expect it to have the modern graphics. It's 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 got isomorphic, isometric or isomor isometric is what they call it. Isometric graphics. Uh, the reviews are mostly positive, and I uh, highly recommend it. How much is it worth? You know, if you can get it for ten or fifteen dollars, definitely worth it. And if you like City Builders, it's not the most modern one, but uh, I think you'll get a month worth of enjoyment out of it. I'll use the example of Cities in Motion 2. I've got like 600 hours game time. But then again, you know, it runs while I'm sleeping also. So it's a really good game. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.